So one thing, one thing we we find about this uh, uh, this theory is first of all, it gives us uh, the an an answer to the source of gravity. That in this model, gravity appears. The 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 fabric of space is coming down and the component in the fabric of space is the Higgs field. The Higgs field coming down will cause gravity. Then the other thing it kind of uh, solves is the vacuum catastrophe. The vacuum catastrophe is the in empty space we can only observe a very small amount of energy but according to quantum field theory and accord, according to Hawking's theory Hawking's radiation vacuum the vacuum does contain a large amount of energy but in a in a form that cannot be detected so if if you add the the quantum gravity uh, the quantum theory of gravity that we've come up with only those particles that consume energy will create gravity and if the energy inside the vacuum is of a, of, of a form that doesn't consume energy then it's not going to create, create gravity. So the only way we can detect energy in outer space is the amount of gravity it is creating. So, so th this is the dilemma we have. We, the, the, we only have one way to detect energy in outer space. That's through gravity. But if you have gravity uh, you have energy that doesn't cause gravity, the, meaning it's not, it doesn't require energy for itself. It's a, it's a supply form of energy. It's not the form of energy that we know uh, in, in, in this world that requires energy from the vacuum. So uh, if, you, if you look at our model of gravity, then you can have energy in the vacuum and it doesn't need to cre create gravity. So this theory solves the vacuum catastrophe, pro cat catastrophe pro problem. It solves the, the source of gravity problem. And it also solves a long-standing question that where does the energy for the mat atom come from? This has been a long, long-standing puzzle that we see so much activity inside atoms, inside protons, inside neutrons, to the extent that 98% of the mass is being created by the activity of, of, of the components of the neutron and the proton. And where is all this energy coming from? We don't know, we can't see it, and we, we have no theory to kind of uh, answer this. But our theory of quantum gravity answers it in a very eloquent manner that the, th uh, the energy in vacuum space is the energy that feeds the atom. So that's three major problems solving each other by solving, uh, try, we're trying to solve gravity and we've solved three other major problems. So the, and it doesn't, it doesn't stop there. It, it's, a, it's like a, a domino effect. You know, the, the reason why 
so many physicists ha have been sa saying that the uh, the theory of quantum gravity is the key to the theory of everything is because when you solve the the problem of quantum gravity it starts to come up with solutions to problems that you you, you was you you weren't even looking for so another another problem that is solved in in this kind of manner is the gravitational time dilation now you would think what's that got to do with with all this so w first of all gravitational time dilation what is gravitational time dilation gravitational time dilation is the fact that clocks at ground level go slower than clocks uh, let's say 10 kilometers above the the ground Now, why, no one knows why that should be. But if you apply our theory of uh, quantum gravity, then you can say that the, the, the fabric of space that's coming down, that's creating gravity, is traveling at a slower speed, 10 kilometers above the, the ground, than it is at ground level it's accelerating is accelerating all the time so if you take this acceleration into account that the fabric of space is actually accelerating towards the ground that means it's traveling at a uh, so it's traveling at a much faster speed at the ground than it is 10 kilometers above the ground and according to uh, uh, Einstein's theory of relativity anything that travels through space the faster it travels the slower time will become for example uh, a photon traveling at the speed of light doesn't feel time at all anything traveling at the speed of light time stops but it also slows down the closer you get to this uh, the speed of speed of light so on one hand you're at a standstill the clock there will go a lot faster than the clock that's traveling at a fast speed the faster the speed is the slower the clock will become so that's a, 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 a well-known established fact that that is uh, the way nature works. So you, if you put, uh, if you uh, apply the same theory to the, the theory of quantum gravity, a clock will uh, take slower at ground level because the speed of uh, space is faster and at 10 kilometers the clock will go faster because the speed of space is slower so this the, this uh, this theory of quantum gravity has solved four major problems and it solved them in a very kind of uh, uh, a very natural way that yes that's that's how it must be happening so the fifth the fifth problem it solves is is called uh, uh, what do you call the gravitational curvature of space now why should space curve or why should be there why should there be a curvature of space this we can uh, uh, look at the 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 way 
the the sinkhole in, in the lake so a swimmer or a boat passing by the sinkhole is traje trajectory will be curved because of the flow of water the water is flowing the boat is going straight past the the sinkhole because the 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 water is flowing towards the sinkhole the trajectory of the boat will look curved and that's the only way that you can explain uh, the curvature of space because of gravitational uh, what do you call because of gravitation I don't think you can explain the curvature of space any other way that space itself is moving towards that massive object whether it be the earth whether it be the sun whether it be the moon whether it be uh, a black hole but any massive object will change the traje trajectory of a straight moving object into a curving curving moving object as soon as it uh, passes the massive object and that's because the space itself is moving just like the water in a lake is moving towards the the sinkhole uh, and causing everything inside that particular part of space to change uh, change its uh, direction also so this one theory this one theory the theory of quantum gravity solves five major long standing problems in a very intuitive and a very natural manner and when when you look at all these five five problems and you try to find any other way they can be solved well if you could find another way they could be solved they would be solved by now but one theory solving five major long standing problems leads us to to believe that th this th the theory of quantum gravity that we presented is 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 the way nature works so apart from uh, uh, just like uh, we've solved five uh, problems from one theory it doesn't stop there the the domino effect keeps on going we hope to make uh, another video to uh, kind of uh, tell you about the 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 knock on effects of the other th the the other problems it solves and uh, the more the, mo the the more we look in into this theory the more we realize that scientists have been saying that quantum gravity the theory of quantum gravity is the key to the theory of everything and i think up to now the amount of the amount of problems we've solved with this one theory is 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 mind blowing and uh, five we've uh, we've stated in the, in this video and uh, we hope to make another video to uh, to tell you about the 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 other uh, solutions we've come up with for, for example uh, dark energy it solves dark energy it solves dark matter and so many other uh, things it solves in a very kind of intuitive and in a, a natural manner that uh, it leaves you uh, 
leaves you speechless. Uh, the theory of quantum gravity has been published in uh, a journal and uh, we'll put a, a link to the paper.